name is Alyssa and I'm the Children's Librarian at the Hamilton Lane Public Library. I'm so excited you could join us for story time today. We're going to start with our opening song, so we're going to start clapping. Are you ready? We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with our friends it's story time, we clap and sing hello. Alright, now we're going to wave. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with our friends it's story time, we wave and sing hello. Alright, now we're going to stomp. We stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, with our friends it's story time, we stomp and sing hello. All right, for our first book today, we're going to read Freight Train by Donald Cruz. And thanks to Harper Collins for letting us read this today. A train runs across this track. Red caboose at the back. Orange tank car next. Yellow hopper car. <gasps> kind of looks like a rainbow, doesn't it? Green cattle car, blue gondola car, purple box car. And a black tinder and a black steam engine. Oh wow. Freight train. Look at that. Let's count the cars on the train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cars. Moving. Oh my goodness, look how fast it's moving. Going through tunnels. Going by cities. Crossing trestles. A trestle is kind of like a bridge. Moving in darkness. Moving in daylight. Going, going, gone. The end. All right, I have a song for us today. We're going to sing a hippopotamus got on the city bus. So you're all going to help me do it. We're going to just slap our legs like this to keep the beat. All right, are you ready? A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on the city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. Oh my goodness! All right, what if a cow got on the bus? What sound does a cow make? It says moo. All right, let's do it again. A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, move over, move over. All right, what if a sheep got on the bus? What sound does a sheep make? Ba. All right, let's start. A sheep, a sheep. A sheep got on the bus. A sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, back up, back up. All right, last animal gets on the bus. It's a snake. What sound does a snake make? It makes hiss. All right, let's start. A snake, a snake, a snake got on the bus. A snake, a snake, a snake got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, S -s -s down, S -s -s down. Good job, everybody. All right, now we're going to do finger families. Can you get your fingers out? These are your finger families. Finger families up and finger families down. Finger families dancing all around the town. Dance on your shoulders, dance on your head, dance on your knees, and tuck them into bed. Good job. All right, let's do that again. Wake them back up. Finger families up and finger families down. Finger families dancing all around the town. Dance on your shoulders, Dance on your head, dance on your knees, and tuck them into bed. Good job, everybody. All right, for our next book, we're going to read Butterfly, Butterfly, and it's by Peter Horacek. And thanks to Candlebook for letting us read this today. One day, Lucy saw a beautiful butterfly. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. She played with it and chased it all around the garden. Have you guys ever seen a butterfly outside? The next day, Lucy couldn't find her butterfly anywhere. <gasps> oh no! Do you guys see the butterfly? I don't see it. But she did find a pink earthworm wriggling along the ground. 
She found a worm. It's right there. A brown spider busy spinning her web. Oh my. Then Lucy discovered a green beetle and a family of very spotty red ladybugs scurrying around. <gasps> Let's count the ladybugs. One, two, three. <gasps> three ladybugs. She saw a snail with an orange shell slithering. <gasps> Look at that snail. Have you guys ever seen a snail outside? I don't think I have. Three purple caterpillars munching on a leaf. A shimmering blue dragonfly. Oh my goodness, look at that dragonfly. And a yellow bee with a stripe buzzing about. Zzz. But Lucy didn't see the butterfly anywhere. Did you guys see a butterfly at all? She looked and looked. Lucy lay down in the cool grass to wait. Then high in the sky, <gasps> she saw her butterfly. Look at that. There it was, her colorful, beautiful butterfly. <gasps> Look at it flying about. The end. All right, we're gonna do a rhyme about making cookie dough. Has, ever, has anybody ever made cookie dough before? I love to bake, so I make cookies all the time. All right, so first we need a bowl. Get your bowl out. I am making cookie dough. Round and round the beaters go. Add some flour from a cup. Stir and stir the batter up. All right, now we have to roll them. Roll them, cut them nice and neat. Place them on a cookie sheet. All right, let's put them on a cookie sheet. All right, bake them, count them. One, two, three, and serve them to your friends with tea. All right, now take a bite. Um, what kind of cookies did you make? I made some chocolate chip, but I think we need to do another batch. Maybe we should make sugar cookies this time. All right, let's get out our bowl again. I am making cookie dough. Round and round the beaters go. Add some flour from a cup. Stir and stir the batter up. Roll them, cut them nice and neat. Place them on a cookie sheet. Bake them, count them, one, two, three, and serve them to your friends with tea. Now take a bite. Mm. How was that? Was that better? I think that was a delicious sugar cookie we made. All right, I have a fun activity for you guys to do today at home. You can go on a shape hunt around your house. So you can want to cut out some different shapes. I have a rectangle and a triangle and a circle, but you can keep going with a square, a heart, a star, an octagon. So you're going to go around your house and see how many shapes are that, or how many objects in your house are that shape. So for example, we have a rectangle. Now, what did we read today that was a rectangle? Well, we read a book and that's a rectangle, but then also the train cars are also a rectangle. So that would be two rectangles we found just in story time alone. So see how many different shapes you can find inside your house. 